Good morning. Welcome back to an, part three of our playthrough here of uh, Detroit Becoming Human. You know, I ordered uh, I ordered four boxes of these after eight brand mints that, that normally only come in boy I think I'm almost done this box and uh, seven dollars a box you know but I had to get them so I've been enjoying those uh, I don't even know what the where the hell we're what's going on so we're at <laughs> we're gonna have to go punky Good morning, Punky. Punky, I went off live early today because I like to stop by your lunchtime. And uh, it's around 12-ish most days, I guess. So just in case I got caught up in something here and, um, and get too involved, we have plenty of time to do that. I don't remember where we left off, but we'll find out in a minute. Uh, another exhausting night at work, but very productive. So there's that. Uh, back to Connor. Okay. Find Amanda. I don't know who is that. Nice garden. Are you Amanda? Probably not. Hello, Amanda. Oh. Oh, trusted. Okay. Connor, it's good to see you. What's up, Isaac? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. How you doing, brother? And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. Indeed. What did you think of the deviant? Well, I think Mark Terry's an idiot. Oh, the deviant. Uh, it showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. That's right. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. <laughs> this Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Um... I think he's irritable. And socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Mm -hmm. He's an intriguing character. What up, coach? Hey, man. We have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Uh... I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. Right. Okay, Punky. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. These graphics on this game are incredible. The prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. Look at that. You can count on me, Amanda. Her skin tone, like her, you can see her skin. Look at that. Oh, Hi, that's incredible. There's little time. Look at that. Oh, you can see when you can see the pores in their people's faces. You know they're pumping up all the out the jams. Again, this game is old. It's, but then I figured it out why like Ghost of Tsushima and. This game will look because I'm on the PS5, and it is they there is a difference. Um, 
It's not massive, I'm here but to see Lieutenant Anderson. it's noticeable. Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. I mean, all right. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Yeah. Look at that. These graphics are insane. Oh, can I go in there? Yeah, I'm allowed in here. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. The three laws of robotic parenting. Okay. Ivanov says, Nick! Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Cyberlife, world's first trillion dollar company. Yeah, well, I'm sure it is. Worth a hell of a lot. Global population, which is 10 billion. Well, that's a thing. What do they got? Like androids lined up on the wall for... Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. All right. Well, we'll wait. Okay. Learn about examine desk. Yeah. Oars and Jimmy's bar wood. Foster. Oh, the matches. Okay. There he is, right there. Third from the left. Real police. He's he's a real cop. A real good guy. The other one, All right? Canine hairs. Saint Bernard dog. Oh, good. He's got a dog. Well, we love dogs around here. Detroit basketball cap. It even has the uh, the uh, ninety. What was that? Ninety percent. I think that was. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than fifty arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile high dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with the street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, uh, is said uh, to have been instrumental in the operation. That's right, instrumental, I said it, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Yes. Oh. And the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Okay, he was the youngest. I won't we don't go through all that. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in a hole on a boat. Okay. What else we got? Donuts. Yeah. Oh, Mansley Donuts, simply the best. 452 calories per donut, saturated uh, fatty acids, 13 grams cholesterol, 19 milligrams. Watch it, folks. Okay. Watch that. Generic troll 
Good morning, afternoon or evening. And Misty, good morning. How you doing? Tara, hi. And thank you, Tara, for being a member for three months. I appreciate that. How you doing? Damn it, Tara, still we still have to do a a Kathy episode. We've been lazy. I was supposed to call you the other morning, but then I, I it's been so busy at work. I've been working so late. Coffee mug. And I know you get to start your day around, you know, nine-ish, nine. You're already in it. Uh, I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, there you go. Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, we can understand that, Tara. I'm going in. I probably not supposed to come in, but I, I'm his partner. Ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Oh, we've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. Yeah, Tara, great. But now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last oh, night. I get it. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my Damn. goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? Bye, Misty. Do these fucking things. Thank you. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. Yeah, that's funny, Tara. enough of your bitch. Either you ha. do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ooh, get them nails done. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So oh. get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> Man, he brutal. And Tara, when the hell is Layla's birthday? She keeps dodging the bullet. And all over the place. I gotta look around. Let's go take a look at this. Where the hell's Anderson? Android cop. Yeah. Nothing. All right. Well, where did he go? Oh, here he is. Uh, it's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> the, yeah. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. 
Nice. I got a desk. See, you just got to ask. Let's go to my desk. All right. Now we're official. We're in here. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Of course it was. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. In the office? Oh. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I, I know. Dogs. I know. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Yep, yeah, see? Yeah, that was nuts, Punky. I can't believe it. Like, we just happened to be... Like, when she found out, we were, we were there, and I was like, oh... A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice, Punky. Nine days. Is one. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Mm. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? <laughs> I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. All right. All right. Missing. Disappearance. Gordon Lopez. An attack, suspect. Also an attack. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. Oh, it started America. in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. How are you gonna get him to get up and go, though? I mean, uh, I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant, but you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice. Okay? <laughs> All right. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Well, listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty, Lieutenant. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Well then. 
Let's just be mean to him. That's what we're going to do. All right. Hank got a lead. Maybe we could have found the lead. I don't know what happened. November 6, 2038. Not too far ahead. 13 years. Back to Kara. Oh, great. I'm going to start crying. So we made it through the, well, we were trying to make it through the night here. We stole clothes from a poor dude that was fell asleep in a laundromat. I'm, this little girl was being abused by her dad. And so this he enjoyed here, Kara, we got the hell out of there. We took the girl. We didn't want to see anyone abused. We, we ran. That was what we decided to do. And so there it is. Uh, but we stole clothes. And we also robbed a convenience store for $40 so we could get a hotel room here. Um, and I'm just sitting here watching over her as, she, or as the night passes by. Uh, hopefully nothing smashes through the dang door. No, I'm not watching that. Like you. What is that? So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Yeah, Alice is much easier to handle than a, chi a child than this, this, these people here. They're mean to me. Let's draw a bat. I don't know, why do they call it draw, you know? What the hell's that? Oh, I did hear about that. Uh, what's she doing? All right, you look good. Mm, what color hair? Blonde, white, or black? Or this color? I don't know. I think white would look too androidy. So black. All right. Imagine if that if it was that easy, lady. All right. That's not really black, but oh shit, she's gonna remove it just like Marcus.
Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by right. Port Town resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX400 around 11 p.m. last night. Oh. Todd, can you tell us what happened? Ah! I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. This mother... Oh! That damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it would have been crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. Yeah, you were hitting a little girl. I it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. Oh. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we going to do? Yeah, I know. We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Uh, we can't stay here. We don't have any money. Yeah. Uh, do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No, mm. it was just dad. Well, that android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. All right. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Right. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Okay, get breakfast for Alice. Let's take a look. I don't li I don't like this whole thing going out here. Are you gonna like Oh no Look it's Connor Lieutenant Anderson Shit. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Shit! Ben, yeah, it's still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off here. Damn, that's crazy. They got Connor in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. I'm going to be direct with him. talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. No. Love the rain. Oh, we're supposed to get rain today. I can't wait. Wow. All right. Okay, Tara, thanks, honey. I have a wonderful appointment. We out of there. Oh, the wire snips are still there. Dang, she forgot them. She probably... It's gone. Uh -huh. 
reached the train station. All right. Oh. Shit, man, we gotta hurry. Woo! Corn house. That's right. We gotta cross here. We'll get we'll get busted for jaywalking. Wow. Nice job. Shit. Train station is probably just right up there. Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assisted androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detective Android has been working on this case for the past two years. The android has been monitored by the Detroit Police Department and is now being monitored by the Detroit Police Department. Oh, I wonder if they know if he's an android. We are now approaching Fernandez Station. Alright, back to Marcus. You know, like, give me a break. Apparently she did. Yeah. All right.
lion. Do they let us go down here now? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it's got to be down here. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. clues to find. Well, see, oh. Find oh, there we go. There's one, and there's two. Four robots in an alley. Get in there. I'm going in. Two and Let's move this out of the way. And three. Okay. one what is the other one three oh there's another one third one. Hmm. 
maybe we have to uh, get to the roof first. You know what I mean? To get the. I can't believe I found that one. Right. Get it one, one more once over, and then we'll. It may be on the bottom of that one. That mural. Pre-construct. Nice. And well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Damn. I haven't done anything like that in years. All right. else was that over there aha uh -huh. there's one and a two is maybe we go up there there's two and Start with the perimeter. No. No. Move our way in a little bit. Wonder if I have to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. A hole in the wall. Let's try this one. Crazy man. Execute. No problem. Like, damn, man. We gotta find that hole in the wall with the, the hole in the yellow wall. One symbol to find. Okay.
Well, I see it. It's really big. I thought I would have to, the pillar maybe in the way. All right. Excellent, Marcus. That's how we do it. All right. What do we got up here? Follow the trail. Yeah, I don't know what that locked one is. I don't know how we missed that. What is this? Well, that figures. Okay. Well, up we go. Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, Anne Marie, good morning. We got to get over to that boat. That looks like a way over over there. Not, not here, but down there. All right. Hey, Marcus, don't give a Hey, that's handy. Oh, here we go. What's that? Oh, can't get it open. Hell is that? Budged or it won't budge. <laughs> you gotta remember that we can change our own camera angles the whole game. This is cool. You hear that? What is that? Tech addict. There's something in here. It doesn't sound decent. Oh, I know. Uh... Okay. 
Okay. I guess I can't go that way. Oh my god! Oh, my heart. What the actual hell was that? No, stop it! We're going in there. Oh, she must have gone in here. It looked like a female. Did I feel good? Oh, shit. Welcome to Jericho. Oh, we made it. Well, I'll be a ham and egg sandwich. Good, I'm going to pee. I'll be right back and we'll continue. I'm back in the saddle, and here we go. Meanwhile, over uh, in Connor's neck of the woods, Hank almost gets run over. Way to go, Hank. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Let's go buy him a coffee. An Irish coffee. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me. Send me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You oh, yeah? Yeah.
<laughs> a C sanitation rating. Oh shit. All right, Pedro Abdar, born 125, 2005, unemployed criminal record, illegal gambling and fraud. All right, well, he's just trying to make a buck. Oh, we got, we stopped it right at the perfect time. You can see who the hell that is. Gary Kay is born 1203, 1998, business owner, criminal record, resisting arrest. Breach of hygiene regulations. All right, so, you know, we all. There's no criminal history. Wow. Well. Is that all the clues? Right, I think so. In. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. Yeah. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? <laughs> Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look. They sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. <laughs> well, you think we're gonna be buddies? You're as stupid as you look. There you go. Uh. What do you got? A hamburger. All right. Or cheese, that is. And extra large soda. Okay. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> Let's follow. Hey. Yeah, you should, Punky. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. <laughs> well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. All right. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Connor's learning. Um. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We I want believe that. that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. The Walking Dead. I they love The really Walking Dead. Hello. Emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Is that a picture of Rick? I am dang. I am so dang Rick. Look like me. The is different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah, we have. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. 
So I guess you've done all your homework, right? He probably knows about it. Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. That's right. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent uh, years. Oh, I was, I was devastated. Spent a lot of time in bars. Wouldn't they kill Glenn? So what's off. your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Oh, we made it. Uh, yeah. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, damn, I kind of like the edge right. <laughs> hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm <laughs> going. Oh, he wants. Oh, now, question the suspect. This guy. Okay. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from <laughs> this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Look at that. Gra look at those graphics. That's insane. Kick that fucker. Anybody home? Yeah. Open going... up, Detroit police. Kick it down. He's going out the window. Stay behind me. Got it. Nice job, Hank. Good kick. Good breaching technique. Go ahead. What the fuck is this? Wow, oh my god. Jesus, this place stinks. I'm sure it does. Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Not for nothing. Detective. Investigate. Right, we gotta remember to do that. Look at all this stuff to investigate. Sus <laughs> suspect doesn't eat. Oh shit, it's an android. Suspect cares for wild animals. Hmm. RA9 again, uh, written on the wall. So there's more than one. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Wow. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. That's right. But then left the uh, offering this sign. statue. Looks like mazes or something. Hmm. What's that? A stool. They were using it to write. There's the marker. It's like Batman shit. Oh, I want to. Uh, I want another Batman game. Blue blood. 
much. So it is an android. Definitely, we're living here. And it, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Was this where? Oh, I think he's. It's this, LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Wow. What's that? There's something on the ground in there yet. Oh no, they, okay, it still shows up. Never mind. Even. See, they should get rid of that where it doesn't. Urban farm poster. Poster corner. Recently moved. Move that, rip it off. Another rumor. Aha. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Oh. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages. Hey, he you. already read it all. Yep. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Military jacket, second hand at that. RT. Probably initials. Yeah. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Whoops. Back out of there. What's this? Aha! A fake ID. Travis Rupert. Forgery. Travis license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. What is that? What did that say? Find cause of loud noise. Oh. Well, there's that symbol on the wall, and then... Alright, come on, detective, get out of my way. Maybe we gotta reanalyze this. Oh, I see. That's what happened. All right. Whoa, Hank! What's that? Oh. I can see that. Metal hook. And... A skid mark. Terry. Connor good. He is good. Oh! Goddamn fucking pigeons! 
What are you waiting for? Chase it! Here we go. Come on. We're catching them. Crazy, and they got her tasty. They don't slouch either. He's real good. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. Uh-oh. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was going to fall, and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Mm -hmm. Come here. Well, I was dead because you had an 89% chance of survival. All right. You're one of us. Shut up. Helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up. Whoa. All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Hmm. Well, that's that. Suicide.
Yeah, that's how I feel. But I should have, I wanted to try to help them because we're trying to get, let me see. Getting on Rupert. Yeah. Yeah. But let's, but I want to see what happens when you do save him because we're trying to get on his good side. You know what I mean? I'm do I'm redoing it. I want to see what happens. I can re go I can choose either path. That's the great part about when you finish a chapter, man. I love it. Because there's so many multiple uh, let me see here. Interrogation, I remember that. Remember that. Remember this. On the run, yep, remember that. Jericho, we have that. The nest, sure. That's right in there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy. Okay. It's a great part, of, part about it. Love it. My initial. Oh. All right, let me whip through this quick. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Mac, how you doing? Plastic with you? Oh, it's hey, Hank. How you doing, man? So he got a lead. That's yeah, good. I wonder. Yeah, that's what it was. Number five on the third. Yeah. Split. Billy's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood him? Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed, you can't go wrong. See, they turn blue. When you do them, <laughs> well, we know who that is. Why do we have to do that? All right, come on. I wonder if there was anything else that we missed because we were missing a whole. Thing there. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I think our relationship got off on I'll pick the same ones. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, he sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think you're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Man, this guy can't get over the graphics. Man. You gotta work on your sanitation, well, buddy. Here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Uh -huh. 
I had tacos yesterday for lunch. And now I do. Oh, Punky, look at that cheeseburger. Whoa! I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. Ah, good. That worked. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Right. Well, they fucked up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Mm -hmm. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Oh, yes. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? The only yes. thing there is to know about me. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. Mm -hmm. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few right. away. Well, we should go have a look. That's a fun chase. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. All right, that only took five minutes. Hey, me... Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Huh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Huh. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding in el... LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange uh -huh. noise, we're going to need more cops. We didn't see that. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Die. It's in here. Nothing. 
I see that magazine too. What the fuck is this? Ah, uh, Jesus, this place stinks. All right, quick, uh, get that. Like came for nothing. Our man's gone. No, that's right. We got to reconstruct it. Military jacket. Yeah, we got that. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Yummy. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA9. RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. I love how you can do that. What happened, Punky? Come on. Shit. 
Okay, we're gonna save, we're gonna save Hank. We did all that for that. Yeah, because we want him to... Uh, we had it! Fuck! It's yeah, my but... fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Good friends, you see that? Now I'm glad I took the extra 10 minutes. I'm sorry. Your YouTube is messed up. Yeah, what happened? Hey, Connor. Nothing. Well, we were in trouble, though. We were wrong. We were not correct, and I thought that he was going to be mad. Good. Finished. Rupert got away. Well, you know, Rupert, uh, you know, we'll catch up with you. Meanwhile, back at Marcus. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel. All right, well. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. Well, you can stay with us as long as you want. Well, that's nice, good dude. That's well, thank Go you. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Settle in. Find Lucy. Explore Jericho. No, we'll do that next time. Because I got a couple things I got to get done around here. Um, these graphics are insane, though. But I'm loving it uh, so far. So, And I hope you enjoy it. Um, I am going to go. Uh, I got to, I got to do some stuff outside quick before it rains. And then I got to make something to eat. And then I'm going to... Uh, then I'll be probably doing something, playing a game offline or something. I'll make a party. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Love you all. And make sure you're safe out there and have something good to eat today. Punky, get that cheeseburger.